Hi guys, I'm Rob Bailey with Journey Instruments and I'm here to tell you about the Road Trip RT410 guitar. So um, just an intro to this line and actually all of our products. Uh, when we design guitars, we don't design guitars. We design the whole travel experience. So the guitar, the bag, the pickup, everything. Those are all part of the way that we want to bring you uh, the most satisfying travel experience for your musical journey. So, um, so basically, here's the, here's the bag for it. The idea behind this guitar is we started out with kind of what's become standard travel guitar dimensions, which is about three feet, so 36 inches, and then a 14.5 inch lower bow. Um, and then we did everything we could do to give the guitar a full guitar sound, and then built a bag that really um, would give you everything you would need for either a coffee shop gig or jam with your buddies or, uh, or overnight trip even. So, and all of this for a price of under 480. So with the bag, the guitar, and the pickup. Here's a picture of a uh, Dreadnought Polyfoam case uh, in comparison to our Journey Tech bag. And so this is the bag that goes with the, the 410. One of the things you'll notice if you, if you pick up one of our bags, first off is it's comfortable um, and it's made to sit on your back so it doesn't spank you when you walk uh, and you can walk a mile or two with it without feeling overburdened. Um, we got great padding on this thing. We've got about an inch, just under an inch padding all the way around. Um, we have premium ballistic nylon shell on the outside, so real thick. I think it's 1680 denier uh, nylon and then almost, like I said, a full inch of padding just under it and then a uh, nice velour on the inside. Um, also protection for your bridge and your peg head. Um, and then lockable zippers on there as well. We gave it handles everywhere you really want a handle. So there's a, a big front handle and then you know your side one, as well as a handle in the back and your backpack straps. Um, we've also added daisy chains on the sides, the lower sides, the bottom, and this one as well. Um, so you can strap this guitar to your luggage if you don't want to carry it. Or you can turn it around and with those straps or these extra straps on the front, you could strap other bags to it. We have a great big pleated pocket in the front, so this thing expands considerably. And then we have a nice mesh pocket that also expands. And the whole idea there is so you can put you know, as much as you need to um, so you don't have to bring another bag. Um, another thing, as I mentioned, we have these straps. Now these straps, the great thing about them is that you can, um, you can use it to secure things like music stands or mic stands or anything big and telescoping that you normally wouldn't put in Another great thing about these straps is that it works in tandem with our, our ukulele. So uh, this case is our uh, Journey ukulele and it, it basically is a mini-me version of this. So the way it works is this thing slides right in here, kind of like a papoose. You can undo these straps or loosen them up either way. Slides right in. This clips in, the same, same clip. And then the side clips here clip on here as well. So basically within you know, 20 seconds you can have your uke and your bag together and they look pretty cool together. Here's a case that I packed for uh, um, just a recent gig. And uh, it's got basically everything I need. So I have my guitar stand, my mic stand, my music stand. I've got an iPad holder and my iPad. I got four pedals with the charger units, with uh, an extension cable. Uh, I've got all the patch cords for running all my cables on my guitar. Um, a normal Shure microphone. Um, your normal case candy as well. You know, capos and picks and stuff like that. And there's room for more. I could probably throw. Uh, a laptop in here as well and when you carry it the way the way it works is the weight goes down on it so it, it doesn't cause any harm to the soundboard especially with the almost inch thick padding on. now most travel guitars have a scale of between 21 to say 23 some 23 and a half inches uh, but we've done everything we could to maximize the sound on this guitar um, and we did a full 24 and a half inch scale on the nut we did a standard one and three quarter inch nut two and a quarter at the saddle uh, we did a solid Sitka top. This has uh, laminate sepaly back and sides. And it also has this great wedge design that maximizes the tone and the bass on it. And it also angles the fretboard so it's really nice. Bar chords are, are nice and easy for you. 
Um, we also do forward shifted scalloped X brazing, so that gives you a little more on the lower end for a smaller guitar like this. Um, we also include our passive three piezo under bridge pickup um, with no batteries to worry about or anything, plugs directly into any system. Um, we also do reinforcement, uh, neck reinforcement with rosewood strips to strengthen up the neck. Um, and we do 17-1 precision tuners on the headstock. Um, we do a classic maple binding. Uh, we got rosewood on the bridge and the fingerboard. Um, and also a, a rosewood on the, on the headstock, along with these uh, logo inlay on the 12th fret and the headstock. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, compare two guitars. One is your normal three-quarter size travel guitar, and the other one is a full-size orchestra model. So a lot of these reviews, people just play their guitar and you have no comparison. So this will give you an objective sound. Now this guitar is your standard three-quarter size travel guitar. It's got solid sick atop with uh, laminate sapele back and sides. And it's also got the, the turtle, the bowed back to give it a little more sound. So pretty standard travel guitar, let's hear how it sounds. This is an all solid wood, solid Indian rosewood back and sides, and then solid uh, western red cedar top. style stuff on in drop D tuning and see how it sounds. separation. Let me try uh, a little bit of Django Reinhardt and see how that sounds. some basic cowboy chords.
right, that should give you a good feel for the guitar and the bag. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach us online at journeyinstruments.com and check out our dealers. We have some of the best dealers on the planet and a few that we don't have. So if you know any dealers that you'd like to see this guitar in, just reach out to us. Thanks. Bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Sun.